guys, today I'll be showing you how to make banana mochi bread. Now, if you like banana bread like I do, you're gonna love this recipe. Uh, it incorporates mochi into the banana bread recipe, and so the banana bread is nice and moist, and it also has a nice chew to it. So if you're like me, who loves textures and food, you're just gonna love this recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. For the ingredients, you're gonna need a half box of mochiko flour, so that's half a box of the 16 ounce, so you'll be using 8 ounces. Now you can get the mochiko sweet rice flour in your Asian uh, department in your local grocery store or at the Asian store. Um, you can use any brand, any brand, it doesn't have to be this brand, but as long as it's mochiko sweet rice flour. Then you're going to need a half a cup of biscuit. Then you're going to need 2 tablespoons of baking soda. Excuse me, two teaspoons of baking soda. You're gonna need two teaspoons of cinnamon. A half teaspoon of salt. One cup of sugar. Now, the, this recipe calls for a cup of sugar, but because the bananas are super sweet, I usually cut down my sugar to three quarters of a cup of sugar. But if you wanna use the full cup, go ahead. Then you're gonna need three quarters of a cup of oil, vegetable oil. One and a half teaspoon of vanilla. Three eggs. And I use the large eggs. And the very important part of it, you need one and a half cups of very ripe bananas. Now this bananas, because they weren't ripe enough, um, they were ripe, but they weren't ripe enough because you want it to be really overripe. Um, I put this in the oven in a 300 degree oven for 20 minutes and this is what happens. It turns black like this and when you open it up, it's very mushy. It's mushy. It's like perfect. This is how you want your bananas to be really mushy. This will help mashing it in, in your, in your uh, bowl and it also make it super super moist when it's mushy like this but if you have ripe bananas really over ripe bananas then you don't need to do this technique but I do this because my bananas it's really hard for us to find bananas that is super ripe here so I usually put this in the oven in a 300 degree oven for 20 minutes and also I usually let it um, once I take it out of the oven I let it rest for about a half an hour just to cool down so it's easy to handle Okay, the first thing you start off is with your half a box of the mochiko flour. So I've already used half a box for the last recipe I did a couple weeks ago for my husband. So there's only half a box, so it would be 8 ounces. This is a 16 ounce box. So half of this would be 8 ounce. So go ahead and put it in here. Just dump it out. Next you add half a cup of biscuit. 2 teaspoons of baking soda. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of salt. One cup of sugar, but in my case I use three quarters of a cup of sugar. And what I like to do is go ahead and mix up the dry ingredients just so it's blended and you break down any um, lumps. Usually the biscuit has some lumps in it, so I like to kind of break that down. Next you add in 3 quarters of a cup of vegetable oil. Then 1 and a half teaspoons of vanilla. this up and then I add three eggs I like to crack my eggs in my measuring cup first just in case there's a shell you can pick it out I like to 
take my little whisk and just go ahead and whisk it just a little bit. You don't need to, but I, I like doing it this way. Pour that in. And I go ahead and mix it up. And that's my oven and you set your oven at 350 degrees preheat your oven to 350 degrees it's gonna be fairly thick um, next thing you do is go ahead and get your bananas so what I do is we need one and a half cups of very ripe bananas. So this is, you can see how all the juices are coming out. Go ahead and put that in here. So it depends on the size of your bananas. Like these bananas, it took about, it took four bananas to do one and a half cups. Sometimes it's five, it just depends on the size of your bananas and it doesn't have to be exact now what I like to do is I like to take my um, hand blender and kind of brush it up already in my cup that I added to my other ingredients it's easy to mix it smells so good a hand blender like this if you have like a potato masher that'll work too now I go ahead and add this to the rest of my mixture I want to go ahead and mix this well At this point, you could add a half a cup of walnuts or macadamia nuts, but I don't like nuts in my um, banana bread, so I don't add any nuts. But if you want to, it's a half a cup. You would incorporate it at this point. Okay. So this is what your batter should look like. Before you pour your batter into your loaf pans, go ahead and grease them up. You can use regular oil or I like to use uh, this non-stick cooking spray. Go ahead and evenly pour it into both of the trays. Now before putting it in the oven, let your mixture sit in the pans like this for five minutes before putting it into the oven. After they've rested for five minutes, go ahead and put it into your 350 degree preheated oven for between 45 minutes to an hour. I always set my timer at 45 minutes. Uh, it, it's always, for my particular oven, it, it's always less than an hour. It's between 45 minutes and I would say 50 minutes. So I always set my timer at 45 minutes just to be safe. And I like to put mine on a cookie sheet just like this because it's just easier to grab both of them out at the same time. So what I like to do to check if my banana bread is ready is I like to insert my chopstick or you, if you have a toothpick that's fine or even a fork just to see if it comes out clean. It's, it's coming out clean so it is ready. I like to let it sit for about a half an hour. Um, an hour is probably better but because I'm impatient and I want to eat it uh, nice and hot, I, I just wait for about a half an hour and then I cut into it. So we'll be back in about half an hour so you can see what it looks like. Okay, let's cut into one of these babies. Beautiful. My favorite part is the end part. Gorgeous. Okay. 
Look at it, it's very moist. Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and calm my husband down and so he can have a piece. I know he's been waiting too. You ready to eat the banana bread? The banana mochi bread. I'm always ready to eat and that sounds yummy. You like this one. You're not really a big fan of banana bread. I'm not, especially when there's lots of stuff in it, like nuts, walnuts. Yeah, is it like nuts, that. raisins, but he likes this one, the mochi one. Uh, the last time we made it, we made two pans like this, and in a day and a half, we ate both of them. They're low fat. <laughs> we know. <laughs> All the fat goes low on you. I think in the end, because I love the end, it's my favorite. Mm. Very moist. Yeah, it's almost like mochi. Yeah, because it's mochi in yeah. it, right? It's chewy. Mm. The top part is the best part. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm. All the outsides are is uh, like crunch to it. Like a crispy edge on it. Mm. Currently, one of these pans will be gone by the end of the day. Maybe sooner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so good. So go ahead and try this recipe, it's so good. If you like, I said before, if you like banana bread, you're gonna love this recipe. And if you don't like banana bread, you're gonna love this recipe. Yeah, ask him. <laughs> That's it guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Till next time, bye. Banana bread a day. Keeps. What a way. I don't know, whatever you want to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.